Yeah, hello out there and welcome to a little work in progress demo. Um, there have been questions on the uh, forums and Pixfly list on how to build an ST map generator or something similar uh, which is used in uh, one of those other compositing packages. And well, this is how you would do it in Fusion. I whipped this together quite fast, so um, just to get the idea across. So what we have here is our footage. Of course, generated in Fusion, and obviously you can use whatever footage comes in. And uh, I pipe that into a change depth. I will show you later on why. And then we have our lens distortion tool here, which, as you would expect, well, distorts our image. Let's exaggerate that a bit so it comes across a little bit better. Now we want to create a color map, and uh, we want to save that color map uh, out as an EXR file. So I have an instance of my lens distort here, and I de-instant this little button which says output distortion map. And what this does is it actually creates a map with screen coordinates which represents the distortion of the image. If we look at our color values down here, minus 63 in red and 35 in green. That's the reason why I used that change depth here. Because if I leave that at 8-bit integer, it still looks the same. But you see that the color values are truncated and we actually need the 32-bit float precision. Well, one could save this out directly and use it on a displays tool. And as you can see, the result is absolutely identical to what the lens distort does. Uh, the one thing you have to do is you have to normalize the values of the lens distortion map. And that's done in the displace tool simply by the expression 1 divided by input dot width. In the X refraction and the Y refraction uses exactly the same value. One thing that is missing on the displays here is the fact that the lens distort actually... I will add a set domain tool here, so I'll actually see what's happening here. The lens distort actually expands the image. So uh, when we re-distort it, we can you know, bring that extra information back into the frame again. The displays doesn't do that. The displays um, actually sticks to the to the set domain we have here. What we can do though, we can utilize a crop tool. So in that case, we do auto crop here, which expands the image in this case, and it expands the incoming image as well because we have an instance here of the crop tool. And when I then use my displays, you see that I get the identical result I would get here. Eventually I will make this into a macro, um, so stay tuned for that, but just to show you how you can utilize those images, and apparently if you save that out as EXR 32-bit float, you can just pass it along in your facility and uh, use a simple displays and people don't mess around with your lens distort settings.